Do you know why cats were held in such high esteem in ancient Egypt? It's because they were more than just pets. They were seen as sacred symbols of the goddess Bastet, who was the divine protector of home, fertility, and childbirth. Egyptians believed that having a cat in their homes would bring the blessings of Bastet, resulting in prosperity and protection. Additionally, these felines demonstrated their worth by controlling pests. Welcome to the Umbrella. My cats are currently sleeping and there's a lot of mis mystique about cats and sleep when they go to sleep. I tell you what, they, what they're doing. I heard, I heard of something that they're going to another dimension or something. I'm not actually sure, I don't know, but let's have a look. Oh, you're awake? I didn't know you were awake. So there's lots of pauses in this video, like there's, there's no there's no um, background noise or anything, it's just the way this video is. Anyway, just watch what happens here now. So my cat's starting to doze, like doze off. Um, this is one of the new starting sleeping spots, which is quite, um, it's quite mis mysterious if you ask me. So I'm trying an experiment, it says work and then she goes to sleep immediately like on cue. Rituals. Wow. That's a real a real reply that I, got I remember. I have an idea. What do you remember? That could tell us that cats obviously could have been used for rituals at one point or another. <laughs> What can you tell me about my cat that sleeps? <laughs> Teresa, if you're here, can you give me a sign that you're here? Personally, I think I'm asking too much here as my cat's already been put to sleep, on cue more or less. What does she dream about? Can you tell me? Does she stay in this in this dimension or does she leave? Black cat's lucky, or the unlucky. Is there anything to do with witchcraft? Is there anything to do with heaven? Do they have healing properties? When you sleep. Is there more than one spirit? Ebenezer. Sometimes this will happen where spirits have to leave, they come into this threat of communication and 
you know, that it's not it's not for them. It's not what we're, we're trying to accomplish. So they may come in and they might want to um, they might join a conversation, but it's unfortunately it's not for them. So I'll try some face to face to see if that gives you a reaction. So that was interesting that we got just uh, work and then my, my cat. True. Yeah, it is true. Yeah, actually, yeah. So yeah, so obviously it, it said work and then my cat went to sleep. Yeah, she just went to sleep right on cue, and it said I remember. I'm not quite sure about that, but I don't know if that's anything to do with the spirit with cats. Personally, I believe there's monitoring spirits that monitor me and they use my cat sometimes. It's more of a um, um, like. Um, an easier way to communicate with me as they communicate through spirits so um, I just thought I'd do this quick uh, quick experiment I've not tried the Vox yet so that would be interesting but that just sounds I, I think I would just get stuff from the past you know from machinery sounds from when um, when before what was here what was you know before I was before this building was here well I'm living in now basically so I'll show you uh, we'll try the Vox now and see what happens so we'll try the Vox for our sounds, if they can hear something in another dimension, so to speak. Because I want to know if this is true, whether cats leave actually into another dimension and then come back into ours whilst, whilst they're asleep or whatever. I'm not saying this is true, but this is what I'm trying to debunk or trying to put some facts on this. Can you hear my voice? That could have been something to do with rent, like before before I moved in. That they talked about properties, you know, in this in this area, either on the phone or um, either in person. I don't think the Vox is good for this, to be honest. But it's not really going to prove much, as the tube seems to be more effective. That, that was a male voice by the sounds of that again it, I think it's the stuff from the past but I can't be sure, I can't be sure. that first one definitely because we're talking about properties so that was it sounds like a breath or some sort that The the last tenant hung herself actually in this in this property, so maybe that was her breath. I'm not sure. So the like I didn't think the Vox would be any good for that, but um do do obviously we got one one property with one full zone which was like property and that's obviously something to do with the past. When someone was in here then there was a second one um i'll just have to play it back and listen to it but i think they were kind of relevant but we'll try the tube again as um you know we got something before that that when it went when the motion sensor went off there's no way i can do that yeah so there's obviously something there's always something in my flat anyway but i don't say it's um negative by any means but we'll try again with the tube so this stick man is a monkey it's it's not anything to do with my cat sleeping as i tried to cut it off so i can get true captures now as the monkey's not in shot so what you're seeing here is consistency it's the beginning of consistency meaning there's no captures at this time the, see how long this goes on for and then the, the, see if there's any captures at start so if there's captures at start that basic that's what i'm looking for so currently we have no captures at this time also, if there is captures that only last for a second or two, this goes to prove that the theory could be right. So after taking consideration that the monkeys are, and obviously I could accidentally capture the monkey and think it's something else if you get me. Just like that then. So you, you can't see her actually because she's... she's um, She's total darkness. Um, 
we have some kind of captures in around it, but the, like if I point it up, yeah, the, the, the thing will just get mapped in, you know, the, the monkey. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to, that's what I'm after here. So we'll just let the camera settle there for a minute. What we're after, if, if anything that does like that, you know, like camera, camera zoom image, yeah, but it's not enough. I don't know what the white dot is on, on the finger though, I can start to see now. <clears throat> so we're after anything that moves really, anything that looks unnatural or um, unnormal, if you get me. So we'll just let the play for a minute, yeah? Although she's asleep. Missed that one because I was like looking at her trying to see her, see her head, but it's getting pretty dark now. So again, I think that's just a monkey. You know, we're trying to map in there, so I'm just trying to cut the monkey out. So that there, when that mapped in, then I'm not quite sure what that is. That's like partial partial dimension, like when when it just comes across over to us. It only happens sometimes for a second or even less than that, quarter of a second. And this is what I'm after, but that's not enough. Again, the camera's image and that kind of capture isn't enough. So that, there's one. There's another. There's another. I'm trying to point the camera down now so it obviously doesn't, It, it but that's what I'm after there. So I've cut out the burn now and still getting captures around my cat. So that tells me that obviously it's evidence to suggest that cats are spiritual animal animals, which is what <clears throat> a lot of people talk about. Again, and there's another. So that white bit you can see is a rear, I think. You can see it better now. It's on the UV. I'm just trying to keep the keep the camera focus. Uh, that's another. Uh, so you can see it now. It's, it's quite evident that there's there's some kind of you know structure mapping in, and my cat's eyes. You can't see them, so you know it, she shouldn't really map in as she's not mapped in throughout since I started really. And there's another, but I did shake the camera that time. I'm just trying to keep the camera still. There's another. It's almost coming out of her eye, that one. So I need some solid answers now, more or less, uh, which I've had one already because it said yes, it said work, then it said yes. So that was for me that there's intelligence behind what I'm trying to do. So let's try again. Can you come and talk to me about anything about my cat, please? What what does she uh, what does she do? Now you'll see I'm not getting the replies that I want. It's because of the atmospheric conditions are not the best. It's actually raining. It's so recently. Recently, yeah, it has been recently. Yeah, the last four days really, and that's why I've not been able to do get out and do any videos. My other cat's just waking up in the background there, top left hand side of the screen. So there's two, my cats are from the same mum, so this is mum, yeah, and then my other two ones are the younger ones, but they're, she's, lo she's longered, no she's shorter, the new ones are longered. So I'll examine all my cats to see if, if the, well obviously the other two are sisters, so um, yeah, we'll see if there's any difference, which I doubt there will be. It's just breeds of cat. There might be one breed of cat that's better than the other. Do you want to come into add add to anything that I'm saying? So there's people out there that believe these devices have got random words. This video, obviously, there's no random words coming out in this video. So this goes to show that what they think is it absolutely has no integrity whatsoever. Can you use any words to tell me if some more information about what cats happen when when they sleep? 
What happens to cats when they sleep, sorry? He won't leave. Alright, so you've asked someone to leave and they're not leaving. Because that's what happened. He said, please leave, yeah. Who's he? Can you tell me his name? So my other voiceover is going to prove basically uh, what I was saying was true. Do you know his name? You might not know it, eh? So we're pushing for a male, uh, a male name at this point because of the statements that they made on the tube. So this is interesting now because I'm getting magnet, magnet fluctuations, right? And um, there's obviously a, I'm trying to talk to Teresa, yeah, <clears throat> trying to communicate with Guardian Angel so she can tell me more about my cats, yeah. And obviously someone's come into the come into the um, communication. It's like someone on the phone and someone else is on the frequency, but I don't actually know what it is. Who, who, who's on this frequency? Come come and uh, announce yourself if you want. You can come and choose by using your name. So obviously we've got some kind of motion going on now. Um, so I can only describe as that to be the, the man that's watching or um, my guardian angel telling me that there's a man watching. Basically it means the same thing. So if there's, if there's not much to watch, yeah, I'm sure he's going to get bored. Another, it's another uh, motion, more motion that. So that's like the third, the third one now, yeah. So I would say that that it's, it's either my flat or it's true or it's a combination of both, and I'm keep seeing stuff out of the corner of my eye, yeah, near the TV, like a black shadow mass. I don't want to move my camera because I don't want to take it off. My so I think it's a distraction. So I'm just going to... Wow. Tyler. Oh, is that your name? Hi, Tyler. You alright? My name's Basil. There we have it. A male yeah. name. Um, bingo, if you ask me. I was also seeing black masses move across the uh, peripheral that. vision said, uh, uh, near the TV. Leave, and then we got the male, the male voice after I asked the name. Which is Tyler. How old are you, Tyler? Do you know? So we'll just have two more minutes of this. Yeah, because I've seen enough already, me. You know, for me personally, using this equipment. I did try to see it, but it just obviously failed. It just said camera capture failed, and it was a pretty good picture I got. So that was probably me that that red one um, for moving the camera to to this to this first thing to the POV. So that was really interesting. That for the simple fact is because there was intelligent replies behind uh, the conversation that was having. Um, also, a camera capture fails means, you know, there's usually a, a spirit in the area that... Um, How do I use it? You come choose some words if you want. Is that you, Tyler? Come choose some words. So, obviously, we've got... Um, we have a presence now, um, because this is sometimes what happens. What can you see, Tyler? Can you, can you tell me what you see? So, sometimes when you do this with the camera, it usually goes off like the motion sensor. Tyler, can you hear my voice? So that was a lot more or less... Oh, that's that sounds female that. See you, baby. So they're just letting the spirits talk among each other because there's obviously more than one at the minute. Which is 
fucking amongst themselves that need to pick it up. Yeah, I'll tell you. Is that where you are, Tyler, on the couch? The free let. That was interesting, that one. That was a hey barrier, that one. That's what that sounded like. And Harvey! That was... And Harvey! That was interesting, that one. That was a hey barrier, that one. That's what that sounded like. Is that you, Tweezer? Can... Can you still see Tyler? Can you see him? Now I could carry on with uh, <clears throat> and use more advanced equipment if if I needed to, but that more or less tells me there's there's more. That, if I got that in in a video, yeah, let's say I went somewhere new, yeah, and I got the that kind of evidence, I'd be like, I need to come back here because, you know, this these things are not adding up. The the motion obviously going off the motion sensor that's gone off now, just gone white now. Uh, the sounds that was getting the intelligent replies. Uh, so I'd have to do more research in this kind of field, in this kind of topic, if you get me, when it comes to cats and um, spirituality and what cats actually do, you know what I mean, and how they help us. We know they help us, you know what I mean, and we know dogs help us as well. But with cats, they offer something different for me that, than a dog does. So, for example, a dog could find uh, uh, human remains. So you could have like a cadaver dog, yeah, that goes out and searches for... It could obviously, a dog could act as a guard, a guard dog, so when you go out, it, it keeps you safe, yeah. Cats don't, cats don't do that, they do something else, yeah, and this is what I'm trying to research. Dogs are quite easy, you know, you can quite, you know, understand quickly what dogs are about, and what they, what they have to offer, but with cats, you can't send, you can't set out a cat on a, you know, you can't make a cadaver cat, can you, that goes out searching for, um, for human remains, it doesn't work like that. They're not just gonna go out and a dog and lead and, and you know find find human remains that have been 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 away for like you know I don't know whatever time it takes you know for a dog to, dog scent where it can pick it picks it up, but with cats it's different you know what I mean and this is what I'm trying to research is, um I'll do more of this if it's interesting to people but I know everyone doesn't like cats but I obviously do because they have free uh free black cats yeah so obviously I want to find out what they what they offer to me as far as like um spirituality goes and all they can help heal yeah with the pern and all a lot of other things about cats but the research about cats and paranormal and supernatural stuff is very limited yeah so this is why i'm doing this video so i didn't do it too long but obviously if you like this video you like this type of cat <laughs> type of topic you know just just smash that like button when i see more likes obviously well it kind of likes that kind of content so i'll do a bit more so it just goes off your reaction like what you're doing so anyway, that's it really, it's the end of the video, um, I should have some more content coming, so I just thought I'd do a quick one uh, whilst I was inside and, you know, it, it was raining and stuff, there's not much else I can do, so, anyway, um, nice one for uh, for watching, um, yeah, if you like the comment, if you like it, leave a comment, if you like it, leave a like, you know, do whatever you want, but anyway, nice for watching, we'll be out and about as soon as this rain passes, so I can only apologise, it's not the way I want to start off October, but it's just how it is, it's just fucking October, isn't it? Right, anyway, nice for watching, see you soon. So this is my cat after she's just woke up after after that video now. So it's almost like that, um, you know, she um, well, she woke up for the video and then now she's obviously well, now the video's finished. She's woke up a little bit now, and it's funny how it said work, and um, you know she went to sleep, didn't you? Did what you was told, weren't you? Huh? Are you beautiful? Huh? Are you beautiful, darling? Right, anyway, so we're going to go, me and my cat are going to go now, as we'll uh, speak to you soon. Peace for now.